So Larry, all the best for your first mission in space. But, but before we say goodbye to you and thank you for being with us on this show, is there anything else you'd like to say? Well, Thomas, thanks for the wishes. And yes, I just want to say I love you, Stephanie. I will miss you and I'll be thinking of you and my little princess. Frida, you're turning nine today, so this is especially for you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. When I was a kid, the first toy I ever played with was a rocket. My friends would come over and they would ask for dolls and bears and Play-Doh, and I never understood that. Some even laughed at me as if I were actually a boy. Silly, huh? And some even called me Freddy, too. At one point, I even thought NASA was an amusement park. My bedtime stories were of Orion, the Pole Star, and a handful of other constellations. They say we all have our own personal constellations embedded somewhere in the sky. Every weekend, my father would take me to our country terrace. He would ask me to look at the sky and mark the position of the stars on a piece of paper and then join the dots. He said those were the magic symbols of the universe. Those were the best times of my week. Beautiful, fascinating, millions of big and little stars, like a blanket. My dad spoke of each of them, and I wondered if he was more close to the stars than me. His world belonged there, it seemed. Going to space was the coolest thing to do, I thought. Sitting on his shoulders, I would insist that he take me along too. He said we would play a game. He would go up there and I would stay here. And those constellations would be our code. The day I would decode them correctly, I could go there too. I started to design and decode them every single night. He told me stories of how he is doing, and even though they were fictional, I believed in them. In those imaginary boundaries and outlines, I felt the presence of his love for me. stars are stuck in time. Dad, it's not me. It's not me who cannot decode. It's the space that hasn't been able to crack the code of time. I know now that even if time is static up there, his heart still beats in love for us. tell you space it's only love that can fragment time timelessness doesn't erase or compensate the longing and feeling of love and love love is so strong and so fragile at the same time maybe he's gone too far and needs more space for his mission space huh Happy birthday, little princess. Happy birthday to you. I miss you, Dad.